Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, sorry I've been MIA. Girls been going through it. I got a whole scamming story. Ugh, so, so much. But um, anyway, in today's video, I'm basically going to be decluttering and throwing out a lot of makeup and just organizing and cleaning my vanity. So um, basically, yeah, that's all I'm gonna be doing in today's video. It's just going through my vanity and just throwing out a lot of stuff because A, I don't like it, B, I don't use it, or C, it was just an impulse buy and I'm not going to use it. And um, the makeup that I am getting rid of either is A, way too old and expired, or I will give it to my sister or my mom. So, yeah. So, if you want to see me declutter all of this junk, then please continue and keep watching. Okay. Let me give y'all an overview. So I did switch that little flower pot, that flower vase, whatever, and those couple of bags over because that was over there, not the other, vice versa. And this is all over here. I need to get a candle in here. This is really cute. But basically, I need to just go over all of this because look how junk it is. This is reality. Like, I recently just started doing makeup again. So, <sighs> took a break. So now it's time for me to let go and say goodbye to a lot of this junk so we're gonna start with my foundation so let's get started all right so these are all the foundations that i have if you can see this i'm sorry but um basically these are all my winter and current shades and those no this is all my so this is gonna hurt me but okay so right off the bat Georgia Armani is staying. All I gotta do is, I think I can fit this right now. This is more like a winter shade, but I definitely could fit this. I think, oh, I can definitely fit this. I think I'm just gonna add like a little darker shade. And then like, sometimes I usually mix these two because this one's a little too dark and this one's a little too light, but they still kind of match me. So it, it looks very dramatic, the color difference, but it's really not the dramatic whenever you see it and it's out of the bottle. So definitely keeping these. Getting rid of Urban Decay because A, I didn't like it and it's really expired. So, in the trash, old, expired, didn't like, way too oily for my liking. Um, I don't really think I give it a fair try, so I'll keep this one. Um, I'm literally almost, I'm literally almost out of this one, so I'm going to keep it and use it up. I didn't like this because it was way too oily for my taste so I did like this this is like a cute little tinted moisturizer so I'll keep that um these two I loved how it looked but I think it made me look way too orangey so I'm gonna keep these and see if I can like color correct or do anything different to them I'm almost out of Dior it's like I'm like right here I like this so I'll use it up YSL this is my babe. I'm all excited at this one too, so I'm not gonna keep that one. Old expired. This is my summer and winter foundation shades. I was in 5W1 bronze and then 5W2 um, rich caramel. Oh, I love these, and you could tell. Oh shit. Well, hold on. You could tell I'm out. I don't know why I was holding this. And you can also tell I was out. You can also tell I was out right here. So these are old and already done, so trash um love this i think i'm almost out so i'm gonna use whatever slip with this um oh was this my shade i think this was my shade i don't know if i like this or not um this one wasn't my shade and i'm making this to my my mom's too dark so uh, i guess i'll just keep it and see um i didn't really give this a fair chance so it's like a brand new bottle type thing so i'll keep it and this one's way too light, so I may have to find a little something darker to mix it. But this is fairly new, so I'll keep this. And I also have my um, NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. And I'm like literally like right here. So, finish that. So I got rid of, hold on. I got rid of eight foundations. That is nice. That is good. It feels so much better in here. So I'm just going to organize it by most use. So I need to rotate to. 
I'm not really going to get rid of anything in here because everything I use and it's up to date. Because it's either up to date, new, because this is a new. I'm definitely not getting I'm definitely not getting rid of anything in my ColourPop drawer because I use everything in there and I love ColourPop. So, yeah, let's go ahead and move into the drawers on the side. I do like the Matte Fix Plus. I have an original, so I'm keeping that. Um, I do like the NYX. I have a little bit left, so I'm going to use that. Oh, God. I've never I used like, more than 20 people to use that. Um, I think I did this for my sister because this is a little too oily for me. So, it's my sister. Definitely keeping it. This is my favorite mascara. I had a backup. That's how serious it was. So, um, sister, because I don't want really to use eyeshadow primer anymore. Um, uh, trash. I never really used this, so I'm going to keep that. Um, trash. I don't know what this is for. I guess I guess. I have a little bit left. I need a hair clean set up. This is empty. Sister, because, uh. Wasn't, I don't really care for it and it's kind of brand new so not brand new but eh. definitely aspired and try because it's the best so I'm not giving it a purchase one for summer because if you have oily skin and the summer's around the corner and you literally don't want your makeup to move this is the go-to um trash old um this is empty trash I'm not I'm not gonna use this anytime soon so little sister um, backup form, back, back like primer filter, definitely keep, nope, keep, my oils, keep, and my moisturizer, I didn't use that, keep, and this is bomb, and I'm almost out, so, maybe i purchase this, I don't know, so definitely keeping this, so, um, that's so much better, it feels kind of weird to get rid of half my makeup, because, you know, like, it's all the money that I supported to, but sometimes, like, and eh, it's kind of old, and you don't use it, so why not, why are you hoarding it, so, Just when I was feeling good about myself, I just realized that I still have the Smashbox Primer Water, ColourPop Setting Sparing, I mean, and I have the Elf Poreless Putty Primer. This is really good. It's a semi dupe to the Tatcha. It's not as luxurious, but it is a dupe and it's really good. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, next is concealers and setting powders so let me zoom in a little bit so let's get into it um it cosmetics it was good but it's white cast and flashback so diff i put foundation over it so trash Learn this is empty a little taste of powder i think it's for a travel size i think i'm empty out or use whatever stuff in here and get you the travel size one so keep um Full size, almost out of this one. Keep. Hey, I think I'm gonna keep this and give another try. So, keep. Keep, cause I definitely really enjoyed and like this, and it lasts forever. So, keep. Just my little sister, cause I don't really use this anymore. Um, trash. And okay, this is the bare minerals. The, um, this is the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil Finishing Powder. It has this pink undertone to it, and I'm just not a fan of it. So, I think I'm just gonna give it to my sister, because she's very, very fair. So, get to her. Now, concealers. Oh, dear, I need to clean that. Okay, oh. And Black Radiant, this is way too... Orangey reddish for my skin tone, so trash because my mom doesn't wear makeup and she's not gonna do it. And this was a refill, and I never had somewhere to put it, so I don't know. I'm gonna have to put this somewhere. Hair clip, all right. Concealers, here we go. Um, I'm gonna keep this because it was good for spot conceal because it's too close to my skin tone, so this is old and done. This is, it, uh, I never, I liked it, but it wasn't the best, so, uh, 
Um, this is done. So trash. Um, this is a little too light, but I can still get away with this and keep that. I just got the Huda Beauty and I'm waiting if the Laura Mercier falls fusion. It was too close to my skin tone, but I'll continue to use it for a flat concealer. And Makeup okay, Revolution. I think my little sister she can cut my cream contour some way because it's way too too something for me. So she can contour whatever she wants with that. So. Oh, these are trash, sorry. And over here, um, I think I'm my cream contour because it's way too dark. These are for mixing and matching when I have clients and stuff like that. So this is expired. I hate MAC. Um, this one is way too big and you smell. Uh, um, I'm out. This is old and expired. These are for mixing foundations and it looks like this matte. Another one of them. And this is good for spot concealing. So, yeah. So, that's good. What is back here? Okay. Good for cream contour. Still going to keep that. Um, this one's old. I have a brand new one. So, and um, I have the Ulta one. And I have the next one. Just to really use in life. So, yeah. The new one I was talking about. So, So that is this drawer. So, all right. So we are in the danger zone, as I like to call it. And this is my highlight and blush drawer. As you can tell, it's definitely packed. And I still have some in the back because you can't see it. But, okay. As you can tell, Oh, I'm buffing everything. I love highlight. I can't live without highlight. Hold on, I still have more highlight. A girl cannot live without her highlight. Okay, so. Um, the ColourPop Dream Sequence. Um, definitely keeping because Baby Girl is digging deep into these besides this one. But I love this palette. If they ever discontinue, I'll buy three more. So keep, uh, y'all, I wish they would bring this. The reason why I haven't hit pan on these three and like it's like, you know, pan but not serious because I have been rationing this palette because they were, they brought it back and as soon as I went to go buy it, they sold out within minutes. So that was fun. So I hope they bring it back. They're supposed to be collabing again. I don't know. I hope so because so I can buy me another one, but uh, keep. Um, this is the very first one I ever brought. I don't know. Don't even have some of these. Like, some of these are discontinued. That's how serious this is. is. So, um, uh, I think I'm gonna keep these. Y'all, I gotta keep these. Yeah, I gotta keep these. I have to. Um, this one I got for free, so I don't really feel too bad about. Uh, I think I give it to my sister. She needs a highlighter palette. And, okay, this one... I didn't like it at first, swatched it, fell in love, used it twice, so I don't know. So I'm definitely going to put it over in a keep pile, but I may just end up giving it to my sister. So, yeah. My bitch, my girl, Jaclyn Hill, definitely keeping this. Girl, I got to keep my girl, Jaclyn. Nah, nah. Where my champagne pop at? I didn't buy Prosecco pop because I already had the, um... Champagne pop, so I mean, yeah, it's already had the palette, so y'all know I got support my boo Jacqueline. What? Um, wet and wild sister Fenty. Okay, so I brought this thing. This was blush, and it is. It's like a blush and a highlight. I guess I can keep it. Um, Armandia, you already know Aunt Jackie. She ain't going nowhere. I just couture, you already know. Hourglass, uh, this just gives you, okay, it looks really, really light and it is, but it's just so pretty and it's iridescent and it's just so, so pretty and it like gives you like that natural, I want a glow, but not that's too serious, but I really like it. So I'm gonna keep this. Laura Geller, 
baby she's been through it them thursday now because it's really old and i've been using the heck out of it so um oh my god i never i think it's just once yeah orgasm gotta keep it it's 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 an unknown fact but i have to um okay I, yeah keep this this is a lori um laura mercier translucing setting the glow powder so i gotta keep that because i didn't really try it out so I'm saying I buy stuff and I don't even think about it. Chris Teigen, I like this natural glow for like the brow bone inner corner, just like a, a quick I'm going to the store type of glow. So I'm keeping that. And I love Chrissy. I want I want to get her pots and pans little collection. Mac, um, what's this love thing? Love thing. Oh, I hate this package. Oh. Get rid of it. Milk, I like it. I don't know if it's broken down. I'm gonna keep it. Um, Mac, I just got this one, Fever. Really pretty boy, keeping it. Um, I, I hunted down, <coughs> Emma! I hunted down all the drugstores, every Walmart, couldn't find it, finally found it, never used it, little sister. This is so old, and it was so expensive. Y'all will never understand how expensive this thing was. This is like $80. Ugh. But it's old. I know it is. Yeah, this is expired. So, <sighs> gotta throw it away. That probably hurt the most. Um, Chris is taking. I bought the little collection of lip gloss and stuff. So, I'm gonna keep this because I had never. I swatched. I, don't, I didn't even swatch it. So, I gotta keep that. And it came with this putty thing. Ew. So, I'm gonna keep it. Um, I was back into Becca really, really good, like, like, really, really, really heavenly, and, um, she, well, hold on, she cute, I'll keep them, I'll put that right there, um, this is my favorite highlighter, my little sister likes these highlighters, so I'm giving to her, she likes, went wild, um, oh, I like this one, this one's really good, so I can keep that one, definitely like that. Um, mm, mm, I'll keep it. Oh, yeah, these are really good. These are the Makeup Forever Starlight Powders. These are good. Starlit Powders. Um, Max Whisper Guilt Keeping Estee Lauder. I got got out of this highlight, but I'm keeping it because it's really pretty. I recently started using this somewhere today. Keeping it. I like it. Um, okay, this is the one with this one. I like this one, but every time I open it, it just gets more and more broke. So I think I'm going to keep it. Uh, NARS! Y'all, I'm up to the obsession with NARS. I think this one is, yeah, this is Orgasm, so I'm keeping this one. This one is, I don't know, Outlaw. Keeping that one. Really pretty. And um, this one, Sin in Casino. Yeah, I can give it because it's called um, Bronze in Casino, but Sin, oh, that's so, so pretty. Yeah, it's really pretty. And Elf Cool and Bronzer. Uh, no, most of us can have that. Get my face. I think I did a good chunk of. I got rid of. Oh, yeah. And this is the Laura Mercier Candlelight and Lunning Powder. I put this all over my chest, my shoulders, my whatever. Um, when I wear, like, shoulder, um, off the shoulder dresses and stuff. And this is so, so pretty. What, moisturizer? And then these. I got this for my birthday from Sephora, and I really used to kick out of it. And this is all the time, sweet as cocoa. I'm surprised I haven't hit Pam's until I hit like a little dip in it. So, my faves. So, I didn't get rid of a lot of stuff, but it definitely feels lighter in here. So, that's a good start. I need to go and order those containers that like, you know, have like little slots in them or you can just, you know, sit them in there. I recently got this one and I really, really like it, but I don't know if I'm going to keep it. It's a cute little everyday palette, but them gifts my little sister, so. Colourpop, I did build my own palette, so I am keeping this. This one was way too red and too dark, but I am going to reorder some stuff, so definitely keep this because I really do like Colourpop's eyeshadows. 
Um, this, heck yeah, I'm keeping this. Um, the bronze I don't really care for, but the blushes are really, really pretty, and I really like it, so keep. Anastasia, I brought for the packaging, but I really do like the colors in it, and it's like a, a quick, cute little travel palette, so keeping it. Jaclyn Hill, no questions. Let's fight. Okay. Not Tasha and Nona, I really like them, so keeping them. BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival. It's pretty. I like to do it without. Sister. Um, Shayla Perception Palette. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna keep it. I'll keep it. Okay, hold on, hold on. These, I don't even think I use, I think I use these once. Let her decide which one she wants to keep, or I'm gonna give it up to her. A husband brought me this for Valentine's Day one time, and I never used it, so little sister, she can get it and use it. Um, Anastasia Quad, keeping, because her palettes are, her things are bomb. Huda Beauty, I like this one, keeping this one. It's a cute little pop of color, so keep that one. And that's just paint and other stuff in the back. So, yeah. It's an empty palette I'm going to probably have to keep. I'm going to order ColourPop singles. Oh, this is Morphe 25 at 35.0. Keep. Um, Morphe 24G Grand Glam. Um, I think I'll keep it. Yeah, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. I'll keep it. Um, what's in here? Another empty thing, but with eyeshadow single in it. Keep it. Never know when. Um, uh, my little sister can have these. She can have these. Um, Anastasia keeping, Anastasia keeping, Urban Decay I'm keeping, Anastasia I'm keeping, keeping the Too Faced Chocolate Gold. This one's so old and expired. I used to hick out this shade, so trash. I don't really use this one. My little sister can use it and have it. Peach. I didn't enjoy the peach, so I'll keep this one. So, and then the Huda Beauty um, Desert Dust Palette, I do like, so. I'll keep that one. So, I kept a pretty good chunk. It's a whole Walmart bag full of makeup on declutter and getting rid of and just throwing away. My little sister, however, she is getting a lot, a lot of goodies. So, yeah. Well, all right, you guys, that was me decluttering and getting rid of a lot of makeup. Well, it's not a lot, but it's a lot to me. So, yeah. Um, the reason why I didn't show you, like, the ColourPop side I'm like, talking about and then, like, you know, do, like, a time lapse, whatever I'm going to do, how I'm going to edit it, like, the full vanity is because, like, I did show you in my beauty room, I am going to try to revamp and redo a lot of things because... I was on a stage in my life where I was really down, not like down, like depressed or anything, but I was just really in my feelings and I just really kind of needed a break, take care of myself after what I went through <laughs> last week, woo, definitely needed a break, um, but I'm more in back into feeling like myself and, you know, trying to get things in my life, you know, in order and how I want to do it, so I am going to definitely try to have this wall set up or definitely do some things differently in here and stay tuned for that and I have a huge haul coming really soon um not really soon maybe way after next when it comes in the mail but um yeah so all the makeup I got rid of I'm def best believe I'm replacing it 
But, um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please remember to like, subscribe to my channel. Thank you to everyone that has been staying through their students, staying and supporting me through all of this. Um, thank you for everybody on my channel. Thank you to all of my friends, because y'all are my friends. I'm not going to give y'all some type of name, because I'm not that big, I'm not that important. But thank you to everyone with the sweet, kind words, and just liking and being supportive and trying to uplift one another. I really do like that, because you know, in today's world, not many people will try to uplift or support each other. So, thank you to everyone who's been really sweet and so kind to me. And, um, I will see you guys in my next video. Hope you're having a blessed day, and bye, you guys.